If you have a vintage Kirby upright vac, uh, you probably need to empty the bag, or at least you should. This happens to be a Kirby Dual Sanitronic 50 from, I believe, 1965 or so. And on these older vacuums, especially Kirby's, you should empty the bag every two to three times you use it. These are not a vacuum that you put a new bag in. These are vacuums that you empty the bag on. That bag is not openable or open. You cannot open that bag. If you still have a vacuum from this age, Kirby, Eureka, Hoover, Royale, congratulations because you are one of the smartest consumers out there. They have not made a vacuum cleaner within the last 20 years, with the exception of maybe a Hoover Guardsman that can match this quality of vacuum cleaner, and they never will again. These are some of the best vacuum cleaners ever made. Kirby's, Royals, Royale, Eureka, whatever, however it is, from like the 80s to like the 60s, you cannot beat the quality of a vacuum cleaner from that era. And that's why there's so many of them still working. So if you have a vacuum like this, I'm going to show you how to empty the bag. I love Kirby a lot more than most other brands for a, mo a whole multitude of reasons. One is because of how reliable their vacuums are, but also the fact that they have support going back to their vacuums that were made in the 50s. That's how I was able to find out what model this vacuum was when I got it, because it doesn't say dual Sanitronic 50 on it anywhere. But I'm going to show you how to empty the bag. There's a few steps, and it looks a little funny when you do it, but I'm going to do it, and this is the way the website suggests. The first step is obviously to plug it in. Now, the next few things you're going to do. The first thing, if it is not lowered all the way, if it's up like this, that is not going to work. You need to kick it down to the lowest position. This one was already there. I just moved it up to show you. You need to kick it down to the lowest position. All right, now, what we're going to do involves this tank on the side. Now you want to have a piece of cardboard or something because this is going to make a mess. So here's what you do. First step, you're going to come down here. You're going to lift this cap up. You're going to spin the Kirby emblem around. You're going to take this vent and you're going to open it until you see the holes there. Then what you're going to do, I'm going to turn it sideways just for the sake of showing it, is you are actually going to, and I promise you this is legit, you're going to take the bag off the hook like this so you're holding it. You're going to hold it like this. You're going to turn the vacuum on for a split second and then shut it off. As it's shutting off, you are going to shake the ever-loving hell out of this bag. Like, violently shake it back and forth, forth like this. Some dust might come out of there. That's okay. That's what it's supposed to do. So now I am going to demonstrate this motion. You want to do this all within a couple of seconds. If you don't do it right, it may not work. All right, now that the bottom plug is actually back in, all right, let's do this. Shake it. Just like that. We'll hook it back in place. Now, here's the gross part. You're gonna come down here, watch carefully. This here, unlatch. Now, pull these two prongs out. They may be a little hard to get if they've been in there for a while. See all the shit that came out. And then that is now unlatched. And now, you can lift the vacuum off. And that is all the shit that was inside the vacuum. So now we're going to take this to the garbage. Okay, this is now empty. Now, we're going to put it back on. Here is, now you'll notice, the tray is not that big. So you really want to be proactive about emptying this because when I bought this vacuum, the thing was so full, it like made an explosion almost when I took it out. Putting it on can be a little more difficult. What you want to do is you're going to sort of line it up under here like this. 
these metal brackets hold it in place. Now, you'll see the two tabs on the side. Put one hole back in there. Find the other one. Where is it at? It's over here. Like that. You want to snug it up real tight and push those prongs really well in there. Now, flip that around. Now, if this is loose still, keep pushing the prongs. Hold the prongs and then push it in place. This thing will not come off unless the prongs are held in. Now, you can come back around to the front of the vacuum. Close this off. You will have a major problem if you do not close this off. It will blow dust everywhere. Rotate it back. Flip the Kirby logo back around and put that back down. Now, just as an example, turn it back on. There's going to be some dust that comes out first for the first time. The first time you run it, you will have a bit of dust. But now... Yes, I know it squeaks. I don't know what that is. So there you have it. The hardest part is actually getting the tray to fit back in place. That is the entire process for emptying the bag on a vintage Kirby upright vacuum. Like I said, this is a dual Sanitronic 50, and that's the entire process. It's really not that hard. Once you've done it once or twice, you'll have it down from memory. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe and click like if you like what you see, and follow me on the web at wix.com slash theelevatorworld slash fans. Bye-bye.